Ryan Braun is an absolute ass clown, and for the reason being, well, he took steroids many times, and then he got into a statement where he basically conflicted himself at least 75 times. Let's get to that right now. That's Dino Lorenzi, who was the collector of the urine sample that Ryan Braun uh, submitted. He looks which like a guy that doesn't know how to really handle urine samples. <laughs> Face alone. Why, because he's wearing American Eagle? I don't know. All right, so <laughs> now uh, he came out with a statement. Did Ryan Braun hear that is? It, as in the cream and lozenge that he used to try and help him uh, come back from an injury, was a huge mistake for which I am deeply ashamed and I compounded the situation by not admitting my mistakes immediately. I deeply regret many of the things I said at the press conference when he gloated after the arbitrator's decision in February 2012. At that time, I still didn't want to believe that I had used a banned substance. I think a combination of feeling self-righteous and having a lot of unjustified anger led me to react the way I did. Oh, my God, he's so stupid. I felt wrong and attacked, but looking back now, I was the one who was wrong. I am beyond embarrassed that I said what I thought and I needed to say to defend my clouded vision of reality, clearly. I am just start, uh, sta uh, excuse me. I am just starting the process of trying to understand why I responded the way I did, which I continue to regret. There is no excuse for any of this. For too long during this process, I convinced myself that I had not done anything wrong. After my interview with Major League Baseball in late June of this year, I came to the realization that it was time to come to grips with the truth. I was never presented with baseball's evidence against me, but I didn't need to because I knew what I had done. I realized the magnitude of my poor decisions and finally focused on dealing with the realities of and the punishment for my actions. J.R. Jackson, open forum. Go ahead. This, there's a lot of conflicting from, from yes. the quick read of that statement. Yes. There's a lot of conflicting statements, I feel like. First, he wasn't sure what he, not first. First, it was he used it and he knew it was going to help him rehab from an injury. Then it was, um, I wasn't sure that using this was going to get me these kind of test results. Then yeah. after I got the test results, then I was uh, flipping about it and I had a clouded vision of reality. Now I see clear now and I was knowing in that press conference I was going to say this to stand up for myself. But then later I realized me saying that was a mistake and I didn't realize what I was saying. Dude, dude, come on, which one is it? Yeah. He's gone, he's gone, he went both ways three different times yep. in that one statement. Yep. You know what the point of that was? To confuse everyone. To be like, wait, did he? So some people can say, he didn't know what he was doing. He, just, he was trying to rehab from injury, and some, some mean guy who gave him the wrong stuff gave it to him, and he didn't know, so then he tried to stand up for himself. But then he knew and didn't know. Yeah. I'm still confused, even though I know what it actually was. No, here, here's, here's what you shouldn't be confused about. He took steroids, he got away with it once, and then didn't get away with it again because other major leaguers were pissed, pissed that he got away with it so many times not letting him get away with it again. He got caught, and then when the Brewers are having a horrible, horrible season, uh, last in the National League Central, he said, yeah, you know what? I'll sit this one out. I'll take 65 games, totally cool. He was probably deserving of a full season, at least in my opinion. They're gonna go to spring training. The reporters are gonna be there. So Ryan, uh, let, me, let me ask you about the steroids thing. Ryan, question A, question B, question C through Z about the steroids thing. I'm not here to talk about that. That's in the past. I've already talked about it. I already talked about it. You didn't address it. That's the best part about it. You didn't address it through the statement. As you said, JR said, you're just conflicting everybody. A statement. Yeah. Now, this is the thing. Okay, you know, A-Rod just got... spoke yet. That's the big thing. Yeah. It's a statement. You know, A-Rod A -Rod just, got, just, just got thrown at a few times, right? Uh -huh. um, I, and I assume it's for this, the whole steroid thing. It was actually because partially that could be, at least. Uh -huh. And then other reports were saying that Rodriguez completely snubbed Ryan Dempster in public. Oh. God. He's, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> side note, please. You know, what's, you know what's better than hitting him? Striking him out. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Pitchers in baseball are the weakest minded assholes. Assholes. Like, I was, I was going to go with clowns, then I went with holes, then I liked ass hat. Um, so uh, let's, let's mix them all up. All right. Um, you, someone hits a home run on you and they watch their home run and you, get, you catch feelings. You're like, I'm gonna hit him next time. I can't believe he, he, he hit a bitch. And then he watched it. And then you start throwing at people's heads and backs and arms and whatever else you wanna throw at them because they watch the hormone. You know what happens when pitchers win games? They pump fists and point to the sky and cross up and do all this shit. So the next, so the batter that, that, he got, that he struck out to win the game, the next time he sees him, run out there with his bat and hit him because you know what you did? You celebrated when you beat me. Shut the fuck up, they're so weak, they're so weak. Um, so anyway, sorry, that was, that was my side note. So anyway, A-Rod's a, a getting balls, pitches thrown at him because yeah. he cheated. Yeah. And now he's fighting, right? Yeah. At least A-Rod 
I actually sat down when he was busted before, maybe the first of the eight times, uh, <laughs> and had a press conference and let everybody ask me questions. And he was trying to be contrite and act like he had learned his lesson, all that stuff. At least he did that. This dude won't get in front of a camera. The only time we've seen him in front of a camera is when he made those mistakes. When he said, you know what, you guys? Fuck you. You didn't do it right. And danced around off the field and stuff, you know? Yeah. <laughs> that I, I, um, it's um, embarrassing. Is what it is. And I was on his side too. It made everybody believe him. I reason, was too. There's a reason he did I it that too. way. I was too. Because everyone was like, that's right. Finally, somebody who's doing it right gets like, like this false test. You're trying to, the MLB, you're trying to get the good guys. Go after the bad guys. Yep. It's sad, man. He, he ruined it for anyone else who wants to cheat. It's totally sad, at least in my opinion, <laughs> for Ryan Braun. Because he was, he was such a good player, simply fallen from grace. He's going to be booed. Food possibly even more, I think more than Alex Rodriguez, yeah. because Alex Rodriguez is not going to be there next year. <laughs> <laughs>